can't read it. Now where's the main IC? Where's the whereabouts is the main IC on this thing? They've hidden it on me. Ah, here it is. Let's go down here. The main IC is more than likely either that one or this one. I don't see any sockets that I've seen like the other ones I haven't seen on uh, YouTube. Um, it doesn't look like um, there is anything miswired or left unconnected. A nice big filter cap there on the output for the power supply. Uh, there's even a uh, little uh, Conway choke in there. And um, wow, that's pretty well, yeah, nicely done. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's what that's what they are. I've just worked out what those those three transistors on the back are your pass bank or your current your current pass bank. So there'll be a regulator on the board here, but most of the work is handled by these guys. The regulator just telling them what to do. Uh, in typical fashion, like you build a seven um uh, what is it uh seven eight oh five regulator, and you want to pass more than one amp current through it. You just put add a pass transistor with a couple of um, balancing resistors. Alright, well, let's put the top back on this thing and power it up, and uh, we'll uh, see how well the um, power supply inside it works. Then we'll check the uh, soldering iron and the um, hot air gun. I'll pause the video here while I put it back together. I'm sure you don't want to see me put screws back in, so I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, I finally got it back together. The screws are a little bit, mm, how would you put it, um, less than ideal, I'll put it that way. Uh, they were a pain in the butt because they kept um, trying to refread themselves, but we did alright, we got it all back together and I'm going to need the smallest nozzle out of this for the first job I intend to do, so I might as well get that out of the baggie now. Back in there so I don't, don't lose them. Put that under the hot air gun. Okay, so that's the uh, smallest nozzle installed on the hot air station. We'll plug the soldering iron into the front, which looks to be uh, it's, it's a DIN plug, five pin DIN. So that's that done. Let's move this guy back. Yeah. Put the soldering station aside. We're going to test the new one. Put that in. Okay, I shall be back in a second now. These things are fun. Now look how thin that is. Right? Take okay, so this is. is a um this is the sponge that comes from it. Now you have a look at how thin that is. Isn't that funny? But watch this little trick. I'll be back in a second after I've wet it. Now that the sponge is wet, as you can see, it's expanded. So don't be fooled by these sponges. They do expand quite a lot. That's about three times as high as it was before, before um, uh, coming into contact with water. So they do expand quite a bit once you wet them. And that's that sorted. So we've got the soldering iron set. We've got the hot air gun set. Solder sitting on top. Move my solder sucker out of the way. Get the power plugged in. Alright, now I'm just going to check the front panel controls here, make sure everything's turned off. Alright, now, fingers crossed this thing don't go bang when I plug it in. So, here we go. Let's get my power cord here. I'll unplug the soldering iron. Plug in the rework station. 
Okay, now. Fire in the hole. Well, there's no bang, so that's a good sign. No smoke. It's also a good sign. So, we'll start with the DC power supply. Uh, take the plastic over it. And that appears to work. It also brings up the cooling fan. So this is our voltage adjust oh, here. Yes. Ah, there we are. The current limit was set. Idiot Ben, idiot Ben. This has a constant, constant current power supply. Our current limit is a power supply. So we have this one here is obviously our fine set. Yes. And this guy here is our coarse. Oh, wonderful. And of course you also have, like I said, one all the way back, cut the current off. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got that, the power supply working. Alright, now let's do go for the soldering iron. So, soldering iron to this bottom one. That's set to 300 degrees. Oh my god, look at the speed that that thing is heating up. Climbing up to 30,000 feet. Okay, so that's 300 degrees. I'm going to increase the temperature on that. Sorry guys, I'm just using my torch here because it does... I said it's 350, which is my normal soldering temperature. And now that should be hot enough to melt solder, so give it a shot. Now if that's heated up that damn quick, I'll be very impressed. So here's the soldering pencil, and... Oh, that is impressive. That is melting solder. That's just amazing. That's really quick. Wow. Alright, so the soldering pencil works. Oops, I'll pop that back in there. I'll put my uh, soldering solder back up there. Now let's try the rework station. Now the rework station is a uh, completely new kettle of fish to me. I've never used one of these before, so I've got a little circuit board here. Oh, that's got capacitors on it. Now look, wouldn't it be fun to do an Alex 993 CC1 or a HD FHX Pass the pop with a hot air rework station. Not in this room, no way. Alright, so we get this little guy here. There's no electrolytics on that fella, so... I'll turn on the rework station. And it goes to this... Can you guys see that? Oh, I might just turn it around here a bit more. Move it back so you can see it. Okay, so it goes to this mode here. There's three lines on the screen. Okay, so it's three lines on the screen which indicates it's in standby. As soon as I take the handpiece out of the holster here, it should turn on. It has, it's turned on, and it's heating up. And once it gets to 350 degrees, I'll set the temperature. See how quickly it melts solder. Grab some solder, still heating up. I'll grab my torch. I'll turn the air to number two setting. That's about right. Okay, it's at 350 degrees, and so I cannot feel any heat on the handle, which is good. Get our solder and see how quickly it melts it. Okay. All right, I'll have to have a look and do that. In cool down mode now, it's cooling down. Is there actually hot air coming out of it? Oh yes, I can feel the hot air coming out, so there is definitely hot air coming out of it. So, I might have to experiment with that. So, uh, yeah, well there it is, that's a hot air rework station. Of course, you switch it off, it'll automatically go into cool down mode, even though the switch is off. And that is just to prevent you from burning yourself with it, or sitting it on the table, forgetting that it's still hot. Um, uh, Sorry, I'm thinking for a minute and starting a fire or you know doing something, doing something silly like that. So I'll experiment with this thing and muck around with it, and then I'm going to fix my two thousand dollar radio with it because that's the main reason I bought it. it cost me one hundred and forty three dollars on eBay. Uh, so as I said, it's got a built-in power supply, current limited, set to three point nine volts at the moment. Just uh, check that current limit. Yes, it does work. So yep. So I'll set that to five volts. That's uh, pretty much the voltage I usually work at. My electronics, there we are, 5 volts DC. 
And yeah, so the little unit. There's even been a multimeter built into it. Uh, yeah, voltmeter and a uh, sorry, not a voltmeter. Yeah, voltmeter. So hmm. Anyway, that is a WEP uh, 8353D uh, um, uh, three in one soldering station. You got your multi, you got your power supply, you got the hot air rework, and you got the soldering gun as well. So, anyway, cheers for now.